Welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson and welcome to another edition of Blast from the Past where we take a look at fighters from the earlier eras of the women's mixed martial arts divisions. One overlooked queen of the early era of the women's divisions is Yuka Suji, the Valley Tudo Queen. Even before entering MMA, Suji was well established in combat sports having placed third in freestyle wrestling in the 1997 Asian Championship. Suji would make her MMA debut against undefeated Ikuma Hoshino, at the time the best female fighter in Japan. Suji would face her at Axe Volume 2 on 26 December 2001, submitting Hoshino by armbar submission in the first round. Suji next made her Smack Girl debut. She would go on an eight-fight winning streak, including winning three fights in three months to win the Smack Girl Japan 2002 Japan Cup Middleweight Tournament. She defeated Wendy Tomomo Tsunaba in the finals via first round technical submission due to armbar. Suji would face Anna Michelle Tavares of Brazil at Deep 11th Impact in July 2003. Suffering an injury to her left shoulder in the fight, she would lose for the first time being submitted via triangle armbar. Suji would not face defeat again for seven years. Winning her next four fights, three of them in Smack Girl, she would next fight for a title. On June 28, 2005, Suji defeated Hisae Watanabe by armbar to become Smack Girl's first and only lightweight minus 53 kilogram champion. She would defend the title five times up until the promotion folded. At Smack Girl, Queen's hottest summer on 6 September 2007, Suji would stare down against Tavares who had defeated her four years earlier. Suji would get her vengeance, knocking Tavares out at 4 minutes and 47 seconds of round one. She would then defend her Smack Girl title for the final time, beating Sahi Ham by decision. After that, Smack Girl shut down. Suji found a new home at Valkyrie, all women's events put on by promoter GCM. After defeating Mei Yamaguchi at Valkyrie 1, Yuka would get another shot at championship gold at Valkyrie 2 on 25 April 2009. Suji would face American Kate Martinez, slapping on an armbar in the first round. Suji would become the Valkyrie featherweight minus 53 kilogram champion. In her first defense, Yuka would face Vivi Mei Yamaguchi. This time, Mei slapped on a rear naked choke, forcing Suji to submit at just a minute and 16 seconds of round one. Locking away the new champion, Yamaguchi pulled off what is still today one of the biggest upsets in the women's divisions of mixed martial arts. Throughout her career, Suji had a long-standing, if unofficial, rivalry with other Japanese women's MMA great Megumi Fujii. Both competed in the same weight class. Both were finishers. Both had long win streaks. Somehow, these two had managed to not face off against each other. Instead, they would end up facing off by proxy. On May 26, 2012, Suji would face off against 7-0 Ayaka Hamasaki, the protege of Megumi Fujii. Hamasaki would lock in a Kimura, forcing Suji to tap at a minute and 27 seconds of the first round. Thus ended what could have been a truly great rivalry. Yuka had her last fight in September 2012, beating South Korean Hyo Kyun Song via first round armbar at Deep Osaka Impact 2012. She then went quietly into retirement. One can't help but wonder what her career would look like if Yuka had been born 5-10 to 10 years later. Her division was taking off just as she was leaving it. Unfortunately, Suji's name is often mentioned as a secondary to her contemporaries, even if with her body of work as a record of 24 and 3. Yuka Suji, the Valley Tudo Queen. Thank you for joining me on another edition of Blast from the Past. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you have any ideas for a future segment of this series, uh, let us know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. We'll see you next time.